Hey guys, what's up? This is Jonathan, and I have to make another video again. So, anyways, um, reading from the book, the book of Ultimate Healing, well, more Ultimate Healing, um, it's pretty cool. Um, but I would just, you know, read some stuff, um, read it out loud, get it on tape, and maybe you guys might be interested. So, um, okay, let's see. What do I want to read? Uh, I think what I want to read today is, I know I've been uh, suffering somewhat with fibromyalgia, so I thought I would uh, do that. I was also thinking about probably just doing another video, because this is kind of long, it's like two pages. Uh, not too long, but uh, then uh, natural relief for fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia sufferers. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff, I don't know, but I want to read the, uh, the real or imagine the mystery of fibromyalgia. Okay, so basically I'm going to read. Here I go. So, you ache all over and your energy level is non-existent. You just can't get a good night's sleep. You can't concentrate and to top it off, you're frustrated because your doctor doesn't take any of the of this very seriously. We all know that one. Sound familiar? Um... Symptoms such as unexplained fatigue and body pains are typical of fibromyalgia syndrome, FMS, a condition that affects millions of Americans, 8 out of 10 of them women. Unfortunately for those women, fibromyalgia and its cousin, Espion, something, S-P-S-T-E-I-N, bar virus, gets little re respect. Sufferers are viewed as non, uh, viewed as not really being sick, but as sufferers of those conditions know all too well. There is something, there's something going on. So, according to Timothy McCall, M.D., an internalist medical editor of Yoga Journal and author of Examining Your Doctor, I should check that one out. A patient's guide to avoiding harmful medical care, fibromyalgia is a very real medical condition. Unfortunately, there is no clinical test for FMS, and many doctors are not well educated about it. They often don't know what to do for people who suffer from it. The good news is that FMS can be managed successfully. It's a matter of finding an appropriate doctor to get the correct diagnosis and identifying the right combination of treatment and modalities that work for you. Okay, so do you have FMS? Well, I don't know. Let's see. I guess only a doctor can yeah, diagnose and figure out. I don't know. Um, so, in 1990, the American College of Rheumatoid Art, Rheumatology ACR identified specific credentia for the diagnosis of fibromyalgia. If a person has it, has at least 11 of 18 specific areas, areas of the body that are painful under pressure and has explained widespread pain. Oh, I was still recording. Uh, There's just people coming by, and you know, even though I'm gonna put it on blast, you know, on the internet, I know it was still recording. Okay, so you know, go to bed and get up at the same time every day and limit uh, daytime napping. Sleep difficulties, fatigue, and exhaustion are all characteristics of FMS. So, maintaining a good balance of rest and exercise is essential. Pace yourself. Dr. McCall warns that on your good days, you may be tempted to overdo it physically. But don't. Doing too much can end up backfiring. Okay, I think it's almost finished. I think. Yeah, pretty much. One little section. Well, about that long. Okay, so, reduce stress. We all need to reduce stress. Okay, so, choose your favorite stress, Meg. Uh, management technique or try a new one 
such as meditation. Choose a quiet space, close your eyes, and follow your breath, or repeat a mantra. Um, you know, mantra. <laughs> People give up on meditation too easily, say Dr. McCall, but he encourages everyone to persevere. It, persevere. Um, it can be transformational. Okay. Join a fibromyalgia support group. And uh, just to note, there is, there's, I mean, I don't know about in real life, probably. I'm, I'm sure there is, but, you know, most support groups on the internet, Facebook and all those other ones. But um, I'm sure there's, you know, support groups. So people with FMS tend to feel isolated. To find like-minded people, visit the Fibromyalgia Network website at www.fmnet. N E U S. So F M Netnews.com. They also have inform informative newsletters. So I guess I'm plugging them. Well, I guess I'm plugging this book in general. Okay, educate yourself. The more you learn about your condition, the more control you will have over it. See the informative interest sites listed below at the end of the article. And I guess I'll probably try to read that too. Um, maintain a healthy lifestyle. Get off the secondary lifestyle. Follow a balanced diet. Get an appropriate balance of rest and exercise. Don't smoke and limit your intake of caffeine. Other alternatives. You can include cognitive behavioral therapy, which by the way I think is a CBT, yeah. Uh, physical therapy, trigger point injections, injections to back up painful, hardened knots in the muscles, body works, conditional, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and Chinese uh, chiropractic care. You know, actually, I'm seeing a chiropractor um, at the moment. So, and the, the last paragraph, pretty much, is Dr. McCall's personal favorite treatments for addressing fibromyalgia are yoga and meditation. He notes that fibromyalgia is dis, uh, disempowering condition. He or uh, the condition, and the, these are strategies that can help you seize control of your health. In the long run, you may have an experiment. Or you may have to experiment a bit. Uh, mixing and matching the various modalities, but be patient. While there is no cure, there is steps you can take to improve your health and reduce symptoms while living with FMS, fibromyalgia syndrome. So, um, that little info thing, if some people are interested, uh, it says uh, American College of Rheumatology, Rheumatology uh, dot org. so basically www. Rheumatoid arthritis thing, which is R H E U M A T O L O G Y. Then you got the uh, Arthritis Foundation, which is www.arthritis.org. And you have Fibromyalgia uh, Network, which is uh, pretty much what I said earlier, which was the FMNetNews.com. So basically, I hope this was somewhat informative. Um, I just kind of read from the book, so you know, I, I kind of do that and just read. But hopefully, you guys were listening, and you know, hopefully that this information might you know help you. I I don't know, but um, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just I'm just sharing. Um, I'm still new to this, but hopefully, you know, I can get real better, and I could just kind of pull topics out of my head instead of you know reading a book and I can tell you the the gist of it. I used to be able to do that but uh, not so much now. It's it's been a while. But I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Namaste and all that good stuff. And um, the I'll probably do the second video, uh, like I was saying from the beginning. Um, natural relief for fibromyalgia sufferers. So if you like this and wanted to learn more um, yeah, so basically there's probably like three or four different videos I can actually make.
Pero bueno, namaste.